Athena, come on. Athena, my co-host, is being a very naughty bird. When I decided to pick her up, she decided to bite me. So, fortunately not hard. There's no mark. But still, she made her intentions quite clear. Anyway, welcome back to Blackjack and only Blackjack. She's chewing on a paper bag. She don't care. Anyway, okay, Nightwing versus Daredevil. Um, I know more about Nightwing, considerably more than Nightwing, about Nightwing than Daredevil. And hopefully I can pay attention and I don't start nodding off in the middle of this. I am so sorry about last time. I just... The tech stuff just goes right over me, and I wasn't feeling good, and I got very little sleep, and I really, I considered deleting that one. I am so sorry for putting you guys through that, because I just, I only left it up because of Athena's antics, and so that I could demonstrate what it's like to have a parrot. I mean... That one was, you know, I, I do have educational what it's like to own a parrot sorts of things scattered throughout these videos, but that's just straight up what that one was. There was no death battle reaction in that death battle reaction. I was just, uh, and it's not like Thor versus Wonder Woman where the problem wasn't evident until afterwards with the... With me hardly being audible at all, I still don't know what happened on that one, but I did sound checks on this one. Um, I did this actually on another superhero thing. I did this on the zero punctuation, that zero punctuation review of the new Spider-Man game. So I did a nice sound check on that. Everything uh, works out, and now she's now she's trying to look all cute. She's, yeah, you gonna clean your beak? Yeah. Now she's staring at me, it's like, you know, you want me to pick you up, then you bite me, so I don't understand what you're doing, going for. Anyway, okay, enough talk about birds, for now, obviously, I mean, I say with a, with a parakeet plush in the background, oh, come on, it's going to keep doing this again. I, I still don't know. If anybody can tell me how to fix that, please, please, please. Okay, and I'm going to roll it here. With a nice textured bow tie. Anyway, okay, nothing, nothing right now, nothing about birds. Lawrence is staring at me. Yes, you heard me. Lizzie is up on her perch, she don't care. Okay, I put my camera in the middle here so I don't cover anything important up because like I said what you see is what I see when my picture is covering part of the screen my picture is covering part of the screen in what I'm seeing um, I don't know why I can only view this as a web page instead of on screen but all right okay Nightwing versus Daredevil let's get started I skipped the ad at the beginning Chad just looked really uncomfortable. Da, da, da. In a world where superhumans can fly through the sky or look that angle. over their head, it takes a lot more than a pair of tights for a mere mortal to stand out from the crowd. But these guys it depends on the tights. Covered. Nightwing, the original protege of Batman. And Daredevil, Marvel's man without fear. He's with okay. the boomstick. I'm hoping this will be answered during the analysis, but... It, it wasn't during the analysis preview, but does he actually have no fear, or is that just because he's really brave? And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a, a death, death battle. battle. I like they were talking about everything that in modern we times, making the a... questionable whimsies of the circus are all but dead. <laughs> and good riddance, Make you get because the world light doesn't need any more clowns. Yet in its heyday, few performances could top the trapeze mastery of the Flying Graysons. Well, until a mobster cut their cord on life short. I always thought the way they, they framed that son, shot young, was so just cool. As talented as them. Orphaned and alone, all seemed hopeless. They had no net. Grayson. Until he's <laughs> I don't remember. The Did they have a net that broke? In the universe, 
the goddamn Batman. Yeah. And under the Cape Crusader, Dick wasn't just a son. He was a sidekick, a superhero. <laughs> he was Robin. Until he wasn't. Yeah. You got knocked the f out, man. Robin spent <laughs> many, many years kicking bad guys around the back alleys of Hold on. Okay. So I know he's a gymnast more than a muscle guy, but 5'10 and 175 pounds? I'm 5'6. And my ideal weight, told to me by doctors, this is medically advised, is 180. I'm supposed to, I mean, I have a strong build. I mean, obviously I need to lose weight, but I'm supposed to be heavier than a guy who's four inches taller than me and muscular. Likes buckwheat pancakes and redheads. Well, who doesn't like buckwheat pancakes? Redheads, you know. I like Danny Elfman. <laughs> City I with his new dad. Who could forget the time he crushed Blockbuster under a truck or when he whipped Me, because I have no idea who that is. Never leave home without it, kids. But then That's Batman suddenly nice realized that you know what? Bringing kids into battle is actually a bad idea. Yes, so thank And then promptly forgot this little revelation. Only time to update the resume, Batman. Probably for the best, though. I mean, come on. The kid didn't Every even have a proper pair of pants. What's your problem, Bruce? Whoa! The mouth on this one. Actually, it was for the best. Yeah, I, I gotta Nightwing say though, Nightwing, Nightwing at some point. Inspired by a story of an ancient Kryptonian superhero, Dick took to the streets by himself with a brand new uniform and a brand new name. From then on, hey, he that was looked as a lot like Harry's uniform. Sure Alright, hang on. Let me move this over because apparently that wasn't good enough. Expert acrobat. P. Cuban physique! See? See? <sighs> He's supposed to have all this muscle and mastered over 10 martial arts. He studied all the martial arts ever created and he's only mastered 10 of them. So. With expertise in Taekwondo, Ninjutsu, Aikido, and a Don't bunch of other mastery. styles, Nightwing is one of the finest martial artists in comic book history. No doubt helped by his world-class acrobatic skills. He is one of only three people on Earth who are capable of performing a quadruple flip. <laughs> I don't know if I like or heavily dislike that shot of him being ecstatic. The Teen Titans, he's got brains and brawn, plus a whole lot of weapons. Nine yeah. Nightwing's suit is lightweight, bulletproof, and makes virtually no sound when moving. The blue colors even turn black while in the dark. His mask features a holographic UI, complete with night vision and a spectral like analyzer. He's like... rocking utility belts on his wrists and ankles full of lockpicks, smoke pellets, and staples that are so strong they can support the weight of a freaking helicopter. He also carries nice, a wing breather, grapple gun, and wing dings. That weird alien font with all the shades? Oh, Molly! One day wingdings. No, no, no. More like the batterings. Okay. It just led me to think, who would Molly Hale fight? I mean, it would have to be someone else who has no actual fighting skills of their own and just controls something else. And when I saw that in the preview, it came up with the perfect person for her to fight, and I don't remember them now. Oh, goodness. Goodness, was it the little girl that always follows Donovan around in Darkstalkers? I don't, I don't remember. Okay. Thermal vision is going to come in handy. Uh, smoke pellets won't work against Daredevil. The standard wingdings are extremely sharp, but he also carries dual ultrasonic and explosive variants. But let's get to the good stuff, like his two screaming... Sonic variants will probably come in considerable handy against Daredevil. ...sticks, Eskrima sticks, that are great for beating the shit out of people. And they'll be pretty shocked when they well, find out Nightwing has wired them with 50,000 volt I guess not Despite handle. their falling out, Nightwing clearly remains inspired by the gadgets and skills of his batty mentor. And he's put them to good use. Performed a 25 mile free fall, so we're talking like Felix Baumgartner here, right? Punch through a brick wall. Uh, how did. Was it just standard bricks? Uh, was it like cinder blocks? I guess it would be cinder blocks. 
12 for 96 hours with no sleep. Oh, I feel it for two hours and I already feel tired. That's my secret. I'm always tired. Point blank. So we're talking like gun right up to the chest sort of thing. 140 foot fall. What did he land on? He's strong enough to punch people through solid walls and smash through a sheet of ice from underwater and hold back the 19,000 pounds per square inch bite force of an orca. And while breaking the nice. car window doesn't sound impressive, Nightwing's done so while the car was underwater and therefore pressurized. To pull this off, he needed to impact the glass with over 24,000 pounds per square inch. He's quick enough to dodge point blank right. gunfire, skilled enough to leap through the city while blindfolded, and tough enough to survive. And long. Batman with Superman's powers. Okay. And that's definitely gonna come in handy. Thing off a building. Generally, any unsafe landing over 21 feet is guaranteed to break bone. And Nightwing dropped 140 feet onto his butt, and he was fine. And we've all fallen on our tailbone. That shit sucks. At one point, yes, yes, I have. Six hours patrolling city streets looking for the criminal mastermind Two Face, and an additional five or more hours collecting evidence. A 2010 study on sleep deprivation noted that 72 hours without sleep leads to a number of horrendous side effects, including hallucinations. But when it was time to leap between, I was reading about the guy that did. Uh, he was in a sleep study in like the 60s or 70s. He was like 16 years old or something, and he stayed up for 11 days, was still able to play, I believe it was ping pong, against one of the scientists, um, kept up at pinball, but he was hallucinating that he was some famous baseball player, like a specific one, I don't remember who. And, God damn it. But yeah, so he was pretty vividly hallucinating, but he was also physically capable. It was weird. With hundreds of feet in the air and give Two-Face the beatdown he deserved, you couldn't even tell Nightwing was in desperate need of a nap. And don't forget, he was <laughs> trained by the number one detective in the world. Maybe he just hallucinates that he's the best the superhero. At the scene of a crime. Even more impressive, he once performed a skydive at 930 miles per hour, which took all of 15 minutes. That puts his starting position around 25 miles high and free falling faster than the speed of sound. For reference, real life oh. Austrian athlete Felix Baumgartner performed a similar great leap from 24 miles up, hitting a maximum speed over 800 miles per hour. To pull this off, he needed a specialized suit to protect him from the extreme cold, unfiltered sunlight, and lack of oxygen. One mistaken movement could have put him into a rapid spin. Rendering him unconscious and causing his blood to boil. Wasn't he in did it without any of that. a rapid Damn. spin? He's certainly tough, but he's he looks like he's wearing a similar lines. suit. His scarred body is proof of that. And eventually, him and Bats finally made up. He Dude, for a second I thought that was live action. Batman was out for a while. Nightwing is one superhero who will always come out on top, along with his partners, Jim and Juan. What? I mean, it's right here in the intern's notes. Who's Jim and Juan? Oh, that's, uh, that's the names these ladies gave his butt cheeks. Oh, well, guess you can't argue with the ass on that dick. Robin? I haven't used that name in a long time. Call me Nightwing. What is with that hair? Before he became the man without fear, Matthew Murdoch was the son of a professional boxer named Battling Jack. Sounds like a badass, but Jack actually boxed because it was the only thing he was good at, and he needed money. Aww, he sounds like a good dad. <laughs> Don't say it, boy, I'm past my prime. I have no future, nothing I can do but become a punching bag for younger men. But I won't let that happen to you. You're gonna study, become a lawyer, a doctor, you'll be somebody, the somebody that I could never be. Now go back to your room, son, and get busy with your books. Okay, Dad. Sounds like a good father. I hope that doesn't change. Have a better life I forgot. I watched the preview, but I forgot. Uh, now he dies in the rain. Dad. Yeah. He's punching people for his kid. <laughs> Matt still trained in secret with his father's exercise equipment, molding himself into a powerful fighter. The bike. The bag. The athletic ability would come in handy when he witnessed a blind man walking right in front of a speeding truck. 
Feeling especially heroic that day, Matt dove in to push the guy to safety, but the truck crashed, sending some weird acid stuff flying all over Matt's face. From that and if forward, I recall, that's also the same incident that created the Ninja Turtles. Matt was permanently blind. I can't see! I can't see! Okay, that sounds like fear to me, alright. Still, Matt did not give up on the dream his father wanted. At least he I'm alive. Good for colors, him. And founded a law firm with his friend Foggy Nelson. Things were actually looking up for him. Yay! Yeah, except for when his not dad he was killed by a mobster for ruining a rigged boxing match. Because you can't oh, be a superhero shot. unless you've lost your parents. Matt was distraught. His well, world yeah. had come crashing down around him, and he couldn't even see it happen. But he could hear it, smell it, feel it. Legally blind. So he's not completely blind? Because my mom is legally blind, but she has contacts and glasses and stuff. It's <sighs> a confusing distinction there. Devout Catholic, favorite place, rooftop of the Chrysler Building. Turns out that radioactive goop didn't just blind Matt, it gave him superpowers. Awesome. So he dressed up like the devil himself and literally scared the mobster to death. And so nice. Daredevil was born. My dad likes this show. I never really it. Oh, yep. In other continuities, it's like this radioactive goop is the mutant and the transformed four pet reptiles and the teenage mutant ninja turtles. Yep. There he is, saving of the brain to heighten their other senses, somewhat making up for their lack of sight. Similar happened to Daredevil, except like a hundred times greater. His touch became so sensitive he can tell when a person is close to him simply from the disturbance in the air. His ears can pick up the faintest. Isn't that actually a sense? Like, I know the whole like the whole cliche is that we only have five senses, but we actually have considerably more than that. Like, the ability to. Uh, touch things without looking at, you know, judge distance and everything, like... I'm gonna grab, yeah, I grabbed a pencil off the desk without looking at it. Um, and, there, and one of those things is the ability to tell when someone is nearby. From the slightest movement of an enemy to the rising heartbeat of someone who's lying. His taste can detect what if someone's heartbeat ingredient in any recipe, doesn't lie. including poisons, and his nose can track you down or like the, a what 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 if they get nervous and you know it can he tell truth from lies? Like can he tell someone lying versus just getting nervous? Uh can he tell when someone's lying and they don't have an increased heart rate? touching my chest like that and it doesn't show up. My sense of taste is so cute I can even tell how many grains of salt are on a pretzel. Well, yeah, they use those big grains of salt. How can you not know that? Who needs eyes when you can sense everything around you to this? Also peak human physique. Minor telepathy? Okay, that's just detail. bullshit. But he couldn't use his blind powers as well as he does without the training under a super secret warrior named Stick. No relation. With Stick's help, Matt mastered several fighting styles, including ninjutsu, Krav Maga, and Kung Fu. And get this, Stick had basically the same blind powers as Daredevil. Cool. Oh. Whoa. <sighs> so cute. Thanks to him, Matt learned how to hold his what did he say? to know and maneuver through his surroundings even better than those with working eyes. He also learned how to tap into something called an atom-induced radar sense. Like the thing that bats do when they bounce sound around to see in the dark or whatever? Sort of. That's sonar, or echolocation, and he can use it too. But thanks to his radioactive origins, there... Yeah, there's... Oh God, I remember watching about a real person who's blind and he navigates via... Like, he makes clicks, like a bat, and can navigate that way, and it's freaking bizarre, but it's so goddamn cool. Ah! Daredevil can actually emit electromagnetic energy waves from... Okay, what's going on? Okay. I thought it was going to give me an ad. 
This means he doesn't even need sound to find and take down an opponent. So he's got a ton of ways to make up for his act problem, but he's also got some awesome gear to help him take out the bad guys. Hang on a second, that's a 1016. Ah, the bug That's not. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. Come on. What? No, that's not. That's not what I wanted. Come on. Oh, okay, that's still not what I wanted. Um. Electromagnetic wave scanner. So it was talking about let's go back up to here. What I say at ten fifteen. Okay need sound to find and take down an opponent. So he's got a ton of ways to make up for his eye problem, but he's also got some awesome gear to help him take out the bad guys. Like his devil suit that's bulletproof, shockproof, flameproof, and a perfect backup plan whenever he forgets to prep for a Halloween party. Okay, so shockproof means with the... ...his most innocuous possession, a walking cane. By day, he's a... The, uh, wingdings, the electric wingdings aren't gonna work. Warren's had antenna, that's cool. I thought they were just there to look awesome. Well, blind man slowly tapping across the road, but by night he whips out the horns and snaps his cane into a high-tech billy club. The club houses a cable, hidden blades, or recording device. Uh, now from, from what I understand, when you get one of those walking sticks, you're trained to fight in it, or try fight with it, right? It can even turn into a boomerang. Obviously Never not I this one of these. Advanced, you don't have to yeah. be blind, right? No, but you shouldn't. You already destroy everything without a super club. Well, I'd need to practice to throw it as well as he does. You know how Captain America tosses his shield all over the place and it always seems to come back to him? Mm. Well, Daredevil does the exact same thing. And he can throw it hard enough to bust concrete. He's super Inch. strong. He can lift a 400 pound barbell and chuck it as casually as when I toss a beer away if it's time for a new one. He's Looks like he's straining a little bit. His billy club and skill enough to <coughs> it back so it killed the man who fired it in the first place. But that guy wasn't expecting that. It looks mm. like he's firing a Glock, which has a muzzle speed of about 1,200 feet per second. At just 20 feet away, Daredevil had to react within 17 milliseconds to avoid getting hit. And while he couldn't survive a shot to the head, he's powered through a heck of a lot when compared to the average. Was he aiming for the guy, or was that just really good luck? Human. He's survived zaps from Electro, who's pa- Okay... Also against Spider-Man. That's cool. Okay. Electro and Electra. <sighs> Bullseye is a shooter, right? Like he's a sniper or something? Uh... Kingpin. Isn't he just, well, a kingpin? Or does he, like, physically fight? Power can burn I mean, I imagine metal. He's fallen wall. multiple stories and walked away. Powered through a napalm explosion, Yikes. and been hit by a five-foot bar swung by the ox, who can tear through metal cages and lift more than 800 pounds. His keen control over his nervous system has also helped him resist tranquilizers and toxins, but his super senses are also his biggest weakness. They may give him way more field awareness than most anybody else, so but much. if his opponent knows so how much. his powers work, they can overload his senses with an extremely loud noise or a really bad smell. Like, if he had a truckload of screaming skunks, you could throw at him. That'd probably work, right? But even so, while... Bacterian from Dragon Ball could take not Daredevil, like, easily? <laughs> but those weaknesses, Daredevil is a fearsome foe for anyone who would face him, even if he can't see them. He even managed to balance his life of law and the crime fighting, and became a huge success on his own. Papa Boxer would be proud. I'm gonna kill you! Direct threat? <laughs> Alright, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all.
first, you need to treat your senses to Blue Apron. No, I don't. By now, you've probably heard of Blue Apron. Yeah, because of you fuckers. <clears throat> anyway, I think Nightwing will have it because he has, like, those sonic wingdings. Um. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Uh. It's going to be pretty close, but I think Nightwing can actually out-stealth Daredevil. Um, if he can avoid being detected by Superman... <sighs> heavens. Then I think he can avoid being detected uh, by Daredevil. Um, I think Daredevil's going to give us a lot of shocks, though. Okay, so... As a kid, he was screaming in fear... They call him the man without fear. Did he, did he just suppress it? Or again, is it just a metaphor for him being really, really brave? I, just, uh, geez. I even, I asked in the comments um, on the Daredevil um, preview. Oh, I am so sorry. At least I'm alert, despite being, um, really sleepy. Um, so, so anyway, uh, yeah, I asked in the comments and no one responded to it. So, anyway, okay, I'm gonna guess Nightwing's gonna win, but Daredevil's gonna get quite a few shocks on him. Like, more than usual. Dude, you're showing someone's license plate. Oh, okay, it has tape over it. Some nice costume. I know you're there. You can leave now, or I can drag you out. It's your choice. Ooh, I'm shaking in my boots. Especially looking at the Prince of Darkness. The bad case over there is part of an investigation I've been working. So why don't you hand it over, and I'll get out of your horns. Is that a no, then? Work together! Well, they were closer than that. Nice, nice. God, I love professional costuming. I love fan costuming. It's so cool. Frickin' no! Stop that. I'm gonna go back a second. Stupid. Okay. They went back farther than I thought it would. Slam, slam. Nightwing could use different hair, but it's not bad. It's better than the one he showed up in at the end of a Teen Titans clip. Who? It must be interesting filming in a garage. You can only harm these cars. Aim for the face! Oh, well, there you go. What the? Stop. Stop. Ah, oh, jeez. I don't know what's going on. This is not crashing. Bite! Bite him, Daredevil! Oh. Oh well. Oh man, it's so cool. Nevada. Where are you? Oh, I like that line. 
Ooh, there we go. So I guess they're taking it that that was an intentional shot to deflect the bullet back at the guy. Apparently this only took two days to film. Nice, nice. Oh, frickin' stop it. Sorry about that. I wish I could see the look on your face. Ooh, you say this? Me too. Ah, there we go. Told ya, told ya. Sonic Wingdings. Told you. Okay. Kyle, what the? Was that live action? We can do that now. <laughs> this was possibly one of our closest matchups to date, despite Neat. lacking a true superhuman physique. Both Nightwing and Daredevil were extremely skilled and deadly fighters. When it came to overpowering each other, they were pretty dead even. Sure, based on their previous feats, we can yeah, tell that basically. Nightwing seemed a little stronger and more acrobatic, and Daredevil seemed a little quicker to react. But these differences were extremely yeah. minimal. It's actually feasible that these two could pull off almost all the exact same feats. Keyword being almost. Right. The Sonic With thing. similar physical abilities, this really came down to their arsenal. Nightwing's gadgets and Daredevil's superpowers. At first glance, these could simply counter each other, making this match completely even. Curry's just standing For example, there like, both yeah. could take advantage of the dark with night vision or super sense, but yeah. only one set was perfectly suited to actively disrupt the other. Remember Nightwing's scanning mask? There's no way he couldn't notice those electro waves Daredevil's radar sense was sending everywhere. Even Mr. Magoo could have figured out something was weird here. Let alone the gang trained by freaking Batman. You know, yeah. the greatest detective in the world. Through a little hand-to-hand -hand action, Nightwing was certainly clever. The others suffer too. Well, to I mean, I guess, you know, being autistic, I know what a sensory overload feels like. Do you know it's hard for me to go grocery shopping because of sensory overload? Like, I'll just stand there staring at an aisle for ages because I'll be processing all the cans and stuff at once. It's... Ugh. And, yeah, then it affects my hearing and... and well, the hearing is really the only other sense I can think of. I mean, like, if someone grabbed my arm, I'm sure I'd be able to feel that as... Normally, as I would otherwise. As a perfect counterweapon, the ultrasonic wing dick. Look, I'm sure there were several bus. So even if he didn't deduce they were Daredevil's weakness, he still likely used them in a fight. Ah. Scenarios okay, I thought Daredevil he just might have trained himself win. against more it. More times than not, Nightwing takes this thanks to his athletic skill, detective training, and high-tech gadgets. All he had to do was dare to wing it. The winner is Nightwing. No, never have Batman in another fight. Don't. Don't. Don't you dare. Hang on. Did it again. A classic battle with new rules. You are not doing Superman versus Goku 3. Don't you dare. No, no, it's freezing again. Don't you fucking dare. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Much better. Much better. Every single time you've set up the camera, you've never taken the cap off. 
Hey, thanks for watching oh, our 99th episode. And that's it is one. hot for that awesome live action fight. Plus, we've got a new t shirt. Hey, if you guys want to pick one up, just click that shop now button right over there. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. That that's a much that's a much better battle. Okay. Okay. Yes. I shall rest easy, knowing that it is not Superman vs. Goku three. Thank God. I would even accept another Batman battle over that. Hey. Hey, Budgie. You sure are tripping today, huh? You're a good little parakeet, Lawrence. Oh yeah, why don't you join in on the fun? You have a beautiful chirp too. Mm. Okay. So like I said, I was right. And for the reasons I thought I was right. Uh, or for the reasons I thought that I was going to be right. I, uh, I hadn't even thought about how the, like, how Nightwing would go not be affected by the wing dings. Uh, but... <sighs> <coughs> I, I mean, like, it hadn't even occurred to me um, that that might even be an issue. But I th if I had been asked, well, how does he do that, I would think, well, he probably has just trained himself against it. I mean, Batman likely would have taught him to, you know, zone in on his opponent. Right now, my opponent is this goddamn camera. It's a Logitech, and that's supposed to be a pretty good brand, right? Ah. But yeah, okay, so he's got dampeners in his ears, so that makes sense. So is those just, like, is that part of the winged in system? He clicks it on, and then those go on? Because I would imagine that would hamper his ability to hear normal things. <laughs> uh, uh, goodness, golly. Next time, I'm a lot happier than I thought I would be, but for... I thought this was their 100th, but this is only their 99th, so they're going to have to pull out all the stops for next time. New rules. Is that going to be new rules for everyone, or just for that one battle? Yeah. Look, yeah, there's plenty of room on the swing. Let Lawrence on. She's sitting right in the middle of a swing that could hold two, even three birds. Lawrence, assert your dominance. She's not going to assert her dominance. Anyway. So, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I know they had, um, the Nightwing actor has played Nightwing several times, and they went into it telling him, we're not going to, you know, we're not going to show any favoritism here. Nightwing could die. And the guy was like, yeah, I'd love to do a death scene or something like that. Just, like, he was fully on board with whatever the outcome was. So, that's cool. I heard apparently they have, um, sometimes they record alternate endings, so the voice actors don't even know. <laughs> uh, that sounds like a good idea, you know, leaking, um, things like that. Like, I remember when, uh, Pokemon Black and White came out, there was dummy data in it that said Bianca would be the champion. And, uh... It was just basically for, um, whew, you know, people who downloaded the ROM. <laughs> uh, that would have been cool, honestly. Rather than this smelly old hobo. <laughs> Alder just looks like he smells bad. I mean, come on. So, anyway, I guess I don't really have much to say about the battle now. Um... I guess I'll see you in three weeks. Um, actually, the three weeks is going to be right before KomoriCon. So how about you guys tell me if you want me to do this in costume? Which costume? Well, I mean, if you follow me on Tumblr, you probably already know. But just let me know if you want me to do it in costume. Uh, and I've done one in costume before. This is not going to be Wick again because... Uh, 
Oh, even though I did manage to get the wig further under control, um, it still looks like an abomination, but the main problem is I just don't want to wear it because all the pins on it, all her jewelry and everything, it's so hard to work with. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so I'm not doing that. I'm going to wear the costume that I'm thinking of. I might also be JP from Digimon Frontier again. Um, I'm going to have to get a short brown wig for that. Um, I can't really use my Melba wig for it. I don't, I'm not going to be Melba again uh, until I get a new tank top. <sighs> I'm going to go upload this, possibly take a nap.